Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What to do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Black Ops 4 and the huge, huge things that are coming to the Blackout game mode next week that are actually officially confirmed by Treyarch. Now this isn't, you know, this isn't something where I'm just kind of ad-libbing or I'm trying to, you know, fill in information. This is actually confirmed on the official Treyarch Reddit. I'll show you guys an image here or images throughout this video of the actually official statements. Now. Here we go. The first thing we're going to talk about is weapon camos in Blackout. Now, they're expanding how players interact with the mode through the introduction of Blackout weapon camos and custom games. Now, the first thing is weapon camos. Weapon, ca weapon camo support is coming to Blackout across the entire mode, including custom games itself, and here's how it works. Caramos are earned in multiplayer, zombies, and black market. They can all be applied to Blackout now. So. Players set their own weapon camos inside of the new armor menu to prior to the match. So there's going to be a whole new interface in which we completely set up probably our character skins, our, you know, and uh, we, you know, the customization of the character skins, mostly face paints, as you guys probably already know if you guys have been playing the game for a while, as well as the weapon camos. And it's going to work kind of like the same weapon camo system that Fortnite currently has. If you guys play Fortnite, if not, I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you. So right now you're able to you take each weapon in each class or not each weapon but you take a class set so if there's an smg no matter if there's one two three or four smgs in the game you take the smg column and you change it to the camo of your choice now it might not work like that you might actually have a little bit more freedom because in this game they like the multiplayer is set through a lot of getting earning camos through a lot of weapons and because you might not you might have diamond ars but you know not have diamond you know uh, SMGs or you might have a gold AR and not have diamond yet so they can't give you like gold on all your weapons because you don't have gold on all your weapons so with that being said they're probably gonna let you you know release it as in like you're able to specifically pick which camo uh, kind of like the armory system inside of zombies it's kind of like maybe they're gonna port that just right over and then that's how that's gonna work for you guys but right now that is the thing that is in speculation I don't know and I cannot confirm any of that for you guys but from what I've seen uh, with the game already and what they've already done in the past, probably going to be somewhat similar to the way they, that it is in Zombies, like I said, where you're able to just pick what camo you want, and then whenever you pick up that specific weapon, you know, it turns to that camo. And that's pretty awesome. Now, one thing that I would like to see from this is the fact that if, some, like, some say somebody drops it, uh, drops a, a Spitfire in Dark Matter, when I pick it up, is it going to be in Dark Matter? Is that because that could be kind of cool? I don't know. Like, do you keep your stamp on the weapon when you pick it up and when you drop it? I don't know. They probably won't have it that way, but I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, players will select their selected camos applied when they pick up those weapons in game. Support will be included for Blackout custom games. Now, Blackout Custom Games is another thing that I think is going to be pretty interesting, kind of on the same level as Playgrounds, and like I've said in the past, I make so many comparisons because the, the games are slow, so closely knit in a way that, you know, it kind of seems like they bounce ideas off of each other, you know, like, you know, every time they have one idea, they have another, like ATVs, it was just like a coincidence that ATVs were in the Blackout beta, and then all of a sudden ATVs hit Fortnite, you know what I mean? So... Things like that kind of keep happening, and that's why I make those direct comparisons. But with that being said, guys, custom games. Custom games has this kind of game mode where you're able to kind of just play around with your friends. I think you can have up to 12 people. Yes, it says right here, up to 12 players per match, solos, duos, or quads. Um, so and they, it also has weapon camo support, full character customization, and things like this. Now, this is going to be kind of cool for just you know goofing off with your friends trying out new stuff that comes in the game kind of like a pts in a way if you kind of like you'll probably be able to come into this game mode find some of the new stuff as they add it throughout the months that the rest of this game will be played through i can tell you that personally i'm not super excited about custom games because it's just custom games has never been my thing i never i always feel like oh i could be making xp or i could be earning xp but this could be pretty cool for tournament play and stuff like that so i'm pretty excited to see about that and see how it plays into the actual esports of blackout if it actually creates and esports but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um as well as if you guys are new welcome to the bear squad as well as if you guys are super new as in haven't clicked the sub button you guys can leave a like down below clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified every single time i make a video thank you guys for checking out this video and i hope that you guys are excited as about this new content as i am peace